Football stadiums are some of the craziest structures ever built, but these stadiums have secrets that will blow your mind. So we're going to take you around the world to share these incredible features with you. These are the things you didn't know about football stadiums. And first up, we're heading over to the Spanish capital where Real Madrid just dropped $1 billion to turn the Bernabeu into the biggest event hall in Spain. The new stadium has gone beyond being just a football pitch by adding a retractable ceiling and a floor that can be changed with the flick of a button. This means that on Saturday, you can see Real Madrid facing off against Barcelona in a heated El Clasico match, and the very next day, you could see Taylor Swift rocking up at the Bernabeu for a packed-out concert. This ability to host so many events is going to generate $100 million extra in annual revenue for Real Madrid. That's a Bellingham a year! And now this spaceship-looking stadium can hold up to 85,000 spectators, making it one of the largest stadiums in the entire world. I guess it's only fitting that European royalty has the Rolls-Royce of football stadiums. But the same can't be said for the Premier League's newest club, Luton Town, because their very own Kenilworth Road is rocking more of a Nissan Micra type of vibe. It's crazy to think that this creaking old stadium will now be visited by some of the best teams in the world following Luton Town's promotion to the Premier League. This stadium is surrounded by houses where residents can literally watch the games from their windows. With an 11,000 spectator limit and an entrance that looks like this, the Premier League has demanded that the club spend $10 million on refurbishments to fit the high standards of English football. But with just a one-hour train ride down to London, you'll be able to find those standards in the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which is the most expensive stadium in all of England. In 2015, Spurs began construction of this mega stadium, and after four years and just about a billion dollars, this football monument was completed. The stadium was designed in the shape of a bowl to optimize for acoustics. They leveraged the design of the stadium to amplify the atmosphere inside it. The pitch also doubles up as an NFL stadium with a retractable ground, making for an easy sports swap, allowing the NFL to make their way to London a couple times a season. But the coolest part of the stadium has to be the giant cock on top of it. You can even attach yourself to it as they drop you from the top of the stadium in what is called the Dare Skywalk. But you definitely wouldn't dare to go to the next stadium on this list because we're off to North Korea to see the biggest stadium in the entire world. Yes, seriously. The Rungrado Stadium in North Korea has a capacity of 150,000 spectators, making it not only the biggest football pitch in the world, but the biggest event arena in the world. This behemoth of a stadium is known for the 16 arches it has around it, resembling a magnolia blossom. Maybe North Korea just has a love for flowers, just like the Serbians love to scare their opponents. This is the Rajkomitic Stadium, home to Serbian club Red Star Belgrade. Looks nice, doesn't it? But with a closer look inside the stadium, shit gets scary for away teams. The tunnels onto the pitch are designed to torment the opposition. They're full of graffiti and intimidating messages designed to mentally break opponents before they even get onto the pitch. These tunnels were even built to be longer than usual to prolong this psychological attack. This, coupled with the diehard fan base that Belgrade has, makes the atmosphere electric, making this one of the hardest stadiums in the world for away teams to travel to. But if you want the loudest stadium in the world, you gotta make your way over to Istanbul to see the Turk Telecom Arena, home of Galatasaray. This stadium holds the world record for the loudest atmosphere ever recorded. Every week, 52,000 fans show up to welcome their opponents to hell by creating the craziest atmosphere in the world of football. But now, let's go from the Stadium of Hell to the Theater of Dreams. Old Trafford became the home of Manchester United in 1910, making it the oldest stadium in the Premier League. The iconic ground got nicknamed the Theater of Dreams by Sir Bobby Charlton because of all the iconic moments that have taken place in this stadium. This football mecca can also fit up to 76,000 fans at once, making it the largest stadium in the Premier League. Some key features of this stadium are the iconic Trinity statue, which pays respect to three of Man United's greatest ever players, George Best, Sir Bobby Charlton, and Dennis Law and the Munich Tunnel, which serves as a memorial for the 1958 plane crash that took the lives of half the Man United team. Due to poor management and a lack of investment in the ground, Old Trafford is starting to crumble, seeing more and more problems pop up, which show Old Trafford is in serious need of a facelift. But one club will be enjoying the fall of Old Trafford more than anyone else, and that's Liverpool, who play in the iconic stadium Anfield. 
This 53,000-seater stadium is known for its electric atmosphere, which is hands down the best in English football. The stadium is known for its famous cop end, which is the area in the stands where the loudest and most passionate fans sit. They're responsible for the incredible atmosphere in the stadium, but the coolest feature in this stadium is found inside the player's tunnel. On the way onto the pitch, the players pass a sign saying, This is Anfield, and this sign has a very special meaning. No player is allowed to touch this sign until they win a major trophy for the club. It's a rule that means players have to earn the right to touch this historic badge, which is a tradition the club has held for years. That's much longer than the stadiums in Qatar have been around, because when Qatar got to host the World Cup in 2022, they built some of the most insane stadiums football has ever seen. I'm talking a stadium made out of shipping crates, a stadium that is literally a giant tent, and the biggest of the lot, which is the Lucille Stadium. This is one of the most beautiful stadiums on this list, with a design made to mimic a Fenar lantern, which is a strong part of Arab culture. This 80,000-seater stadium is equipped with advanced cooling technology to give both players and viewers a comfortable environment in the heat of Qatar. This stadium hosted the World Cup final, which ended up being one of the greatest finals in football history but now has been repurposed into a community space with schools, shops, and cafes. Now we're jumping on the jet and heading to Brazil so I can tell you about the Maracana. In 1950, the Maracana was built and had a capacity of 200,000 spectators, which made it the biggest stadium in the world. An iconic building for football that was built to host the first World Cup following World War II. As the years went by, the sheer size of the stadium posed threats to fan safety, so the Brazilian Football Association had to reduce the capacity first to 100,000 and more recently, a further drop to 78,000. The Maracana is more than just a sports venue for the nation of Brazil. It's a symbol of Brazil's love and passion for the sport of football. Now going from one national stadium to another, we're off to Taiwan because this is the most high-tech stadium in the world. The roof of the stadium is covered in almost 9,000 solar panels, which powers the entire stadium. But these solar panels go beyond just powering the stadium, they generate enough power to provide 80% of the surrounding neighborhood with clean energy. Apart from the energy benefits, the solar panels just look really cool. But not as cool as the Allianz Arena over in Munich, Germany. This beauty of a stadium is home to German giants Bayern Munich and can hold up to 75,000 fans at once. The Allianz Arena is famous for its exterior design that's made up of 2,800 metal panels which can light up in any color, making the arena a true spectacle, especially at night. The colors are used to match the home team, so red when Bayern are playing and white when the German national team makes their way to Munich for a game. But as much as the Allianz Arena is the coolest stadium in Germany, it's not the best. Borussia Dortmund hold that crown with Signal Iduna Park. Holding up to 81,000 fans at a time, they beat out Bayern to being the biggest in Germany. But size doesn't always matter, it's what you do with that size that counts, and Dortmund really knows how to use it. This stadium is one of the best atmospheres in Europe, which comes from their south stand known as the Yellow Wall. This is one of the most intimidating stands in Europe, with the sheer size and passion that comes from it, and don't forget their love for a good pre-game TIFO. But next on the list, we're heading off to the Johan Cruyff Arena, home to Ajax Amsterdam. This stadium got its name after the passing of Johan Cruyff in 2016, who was a legendary football player for Ajax and whose influence on football changed the way the game is played today. He's further honored with a statue situated at the entrance of the stadium, so all fans can pay homage to this legendary football player. But Ajax only has one statue at their stadium. Arsenal, on the other hand, are able to boast three golden statues outside their stadium. The Emirates is a behemoth of a stadium located in central London that has a capacity of 60,000 fans. Arsenal moved to the Emirates in 2006 after they were denied permission to expand their iconic Highbury Stadium. The belief was that by moving to a bigger stadium, Arsenal were going to be able to compete further with big European teams like Bayern Munich, but that hasn't quite gone to plan yet. In front of the Emirates, you will find three golden statues of their three greatest players, Henri, 
Adams and Bergkamp, who were pivotal players in their iconic Invincible season. But if we're talking about London stadiums, you have to hear about the biggest and best, Wembley Stadium. This iconic stadium was built in 1923, but has since been developed and expanded to a 90,000-seat arena, making it the biggest stadium in England. This stadium doesn't belong to any club. It's used by the English national team and for any major finals that take place in England. Football legend Pele has gone as far to say that Wembley is the cathedral of football, it is the capital of football, and it is the heart of football. I think you get the idea by now about the meaning of the stadium. The street leading up to the stadium is the famous Wembley Way, which provides a direct view of the stadium as one approaches the monument, allowing fans to fully take in the glory of a visit to Wembley. But now we'll make the trip up from London to Glasgow to see the biggest stadium in Scotland, Celtic Park, home to Celtic Football Club. This stadium was opened in 1892, making it one of the oldest in the world, but after years of renovations, we now have this beautiful arena. Celtic Park was designed in such a way that it would optimize for noise, which, coupled with a passionate fan base, makes for some of the best match day atmospheres in football, especially those iconic European nights. But if you're looking for iconic matches, you have to head over to Italy to take a look at the San Siro. This stadium is found in the heart of Milan and is unlike any other on this list because it's home to two clubs, AC Milan and Inter Milan. This isn't common in the world of football, especially with the two clubs that are such fierce rivals. Looking at it from the outside, the stadium is just grand, with 11 towers supporting the stadium, making it look like a true battlefield. When a Milan Derby comes around, the match day experience becomes a real gem thanks to its shared nature. The fans get extremely passionate, and it makes for some thrilling matches. But now you have to see the most unusual stadium in the world. This is the float, found in Singapore, and it is literally a floating stadium in the ocean. This stadium allows 30,000 fans to come and watch a match on the ocean. With a football field on the sea, they have to have boats going around during matches to collect any balls that are shot into the water. They also have barriers and nets that prevent players from falling into the ocean. But imagine a 90th minute winner in that ground. I'd be heading straight for an ocean celebration and I'm surely not alone on that one. But now we are headed to Budapest to see the stadium that belongs in a museum. The Panchao Stadium is literally a work of art designed by iconic Hungarian architect Imre Makovets. This is the smallest stadium on the list, but arguably the most beautiful, having space for only 4,000 spectators. Although beautiful, this stadium has a lot of controversy surrounding it, as it's seen as a vanity project for politicians who are seemingly prioritizing sports stadiums over the many infrastructure struggles that Hungary is currently facing. But for us football fans, it's simply a work of art. I can't really say the same about the Braga Stadium found in Portugal. I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder, but this stadium is literally built in a quarry. It has a seating capacity of 30,000 fans who get to watch these quarry football matches. I guess it might just be a cool experience to watch a game in such a different stadium. But I'd prefer to travel to Soccer City in South Africa because this stadium is a masterpiece. This was originally built in 1987, but saw major renovations ahead of the 2010 World Cup hosted in South Africa. The exterior design is inspired by African pottery with colorful panels that create a mosaic representing the flag of South Africa. It's also the largest stadium in all of Africa, with a capacity of 95,000 spectators and is seen as a symbol of unity and progress for the nation of South Africa. Now we're down to the last three stadiums on this list, and if you've enjoyed so far, you should subscribe. I'm trying to hit 100k, so I need your help. But now we're going to Los Angeles, California to see the largest football stadium in America. 88,000 spectators and built in the shape of a bull makes for an incredible football experience. The choice to have no roof on this stadium is an unusual one for an arena of this size, but I guess LA doesn't have to worry about a cold Tuesday night in the rain. But now we're heading back to Europe to see the Stade de France found in the heart of Paris. This stadium is a French phenomenon, having been built for the 1998 World Cup final, which France went on to win, cementing this stadium well within the hearts of the French nation. This arena is shared between the French football team along with the French rugby team, further deepening its importance to the French population. A capacity of 80,000 fans makes this one of the biggest stadiums in Europe, but not the biggest. That would be the Camp Nou. 
The exterior of this stadium is designed in a modernist architectural style that matches the city of Barcelona, whilst the interior is built to maximize the viewing experience as the stands rise steeply to accommodate for the large number of spectators. But as much as Barcelona have this beautiful stadium, there is a lot of controversy surrounding the club, like the millions of dollars they've paid to referees in an alleged bribery scandal. So if you want to hear about that, you have to check out this video now.